Hello everybody, Jay Marino here. We're continuing Chapter 9 of Legends of Arcane First Human Book. So, we're against four or five different factions of orcs. We're playing as the dwarves. We have elven allies. We've taken the pressure off of our elven allies, but this is certainly not over. Uh, I'm just going to keep my tower spam up. It's not a bad thing. We're just going to keep doing it. We'll make more down here, too. Meanwhile, we are getting ready to go and attack purple. Here comes a large attack from yellow. They do like to focus down your workers, which makes sense. Let's just go ahead and turn those back onto auto repair. And I'm just going to... I'm just keep making workers. Okay. So they're going to attack purple again. I'm thinking this is my chance to go, so let's auto it. Let's just auto attack. We've got a lot of Griffin Riders, which is what I want, and some siege engines. So we're gonna get them in there to, to take out the buildings very quickly. Mortar teams go as well. We're just gonna send my entire force in to get rid of purple. Purple has a lot of units, but we should be fine. I could avatar, and in fact, I'm gonna get him in the front. We're gonna avatar. I don't have anything to dispel with. You know, I didn't even look if I had any other buildings. No, there's no, there's, I don't have any spell casting options as the dwarf, so I can't dispel any of that stuff. That's okay, that's about what I'd expect. Here comes green again. I'd love to find where these green attacks are coming from. What I'm gonna do is make griffin riders, like crazy amounts of griffin riders and then siege engines. Alright, this is great, yeah, here's the siege engines. Doing good, doing good work. You know what, come up here and just hit the town hall, it's fine. You don't need to hit the altar. You don't need to hit the altar, buddy. Okay, mortar teams just hit towers. You back up. Okay, perfect. This is this is where we need to be. Siege engines move on up here. I see green buildings. Maybe we can find where those things are coming from. I think we have pretty well-placed scout drones. I'd like to get even another one, though. It doesn't cost supply, which is great. Come on, keep building. I'd love to get more, though. We're going to need more workers down here for sure. It's, it's, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, ch I'm challenged to find out, like, to really focus on what's going on where here. Who's, who's way over here? Oh, no, no, this is fine. Okay, good. So we're going to slowly get rid of purple, which means that we want to set up another base. All the way up here. Let's see, do I have any any workers still? Yeah, you just don't worry about that anymore, buddy. You're going to come up and build a town hall. Okay, purple is gone. Here comes blue. Um, I might just grab my griffin riders and come back and support because they're fast. So let's go ahead and actually keep them hotkeyed and we'll keep my siege weapons hotkeyed separately. So we're losing towers like crazy, but, you know, we're still able to wipe them out. Still able to wipe out the attack, which is fine. And the siege engines are really, really strong, so this is great. There's, see, there's bestiaries up here. That might be where the wyverns are being built. I don't know. What would be cool is if the elves attacked maybe a little more frequently. There's a gold mine over here that would have been nearly free to take. Hey, come on, buddy. I'm trying to take these expansions pretty much as soon as, as possible. Okay, yep, and guess what? Now, now you got fucking nothing. You got nothing. Because the Griffin Riders are here. All right, you guys sit. Dark Mines here. They're mostly tagging with air units now. I just need to constantly be building workers. It's crazy. Okay, let's attack up here. Get rid of these bestiaries. My wife and I adopted a dog recently, and I was nervous that she'd be scared when I recorded, but she's unfazed by most things. It's awesome. She's super cute, too. I'm very excited. Never had a pet before. I mean... I've killed a goldfish. I think most people have killed a goldfish at some point in their lives, but I've never had a, a dog or a cat or anything. I'm actually highly allergic to cats. But now I got this dog. She's super cute. Her name's Coco. At your call, I live Coco. She's really well trained, too. We rescued her. She's four years old. And uh, she's already house trained. She knows sit. I don't know. It's just like, it's perfect. And she's really lazy, which is perfect for my wife and I. So, she, you know, we take her out to exercise as you should for if you have a pet, but uh, otherwise, um, she's not she's not some, she's not a dog who needs to run every day. She doesn't need uh, like huge amounts of exercise. She just needs enough exercise to uh, to not get stir crazy in the house. Again, that's it's important. I think some people, they have dogs and they don't, they never take them out of the house. It's like, it's important that your dog gets some exercise. It's not the same for every breed though. To be honest, I just said I, I've never had pets. So what the fuck do I know? <laughs> 
this Jay Barino asshole trying to let me face the peril. Trying to uh, to tell us how to own pets. These workers say, "Let me face the peril." Yeah, okay, buddies. <laughs> let you face the peril. Like, what do you? Your workers. What are you gonna? You're gonna hit them with your little mason hammers. Good work. Okay, let's try to get all these units back to base. We're in high upkeep too. Let's go try to finish this up. The door or the elves are attacking to the right, which is nice. Maybe they'll clear this out for us. We could go and take this base. Oh, that's that's cool. How many other bases are there? Torg Harpy Blood. Where could he be? There must be another enemy base, or it's the green base, as we know there's a green base. Let's get a, a couple cannon towers. I should be using cannon towers more frequently, to be honest. My workers are the first to die in all of these attacks. I feel very bad for them. Okay, and then more Griffin Riders. I could just make mass like, exclusively Griffin Riders to flesh out this composition. I have... I have... 11 Griffin Riders. That's very good. Not much can destroy this except mass tower, I don't think. Or maybe... maybe Warlocks with, like, mass firebolts or something. Let's attack up to the upper left, and then let's go clear this out and take this gold mine. We've destroyed everything on the left side of the map, as far as I can tell. So we're in very, very good shape. Yes, kill the workers. Destroy the dark mine workers. Whoa, what was that? Oh, I think there was just a wyvern up here. There we go. Okay, let's not draw them to us too much. Let's just see what's up here. That puts us into high upkeep, which means we do want to just go soon. Where are my griffins even rallying to? Ah, ooh, I found them! You little jerks! I think this is where the, I think this is where the wyverns were coming from. Perfect. Okay, get rid of them, buddies. Meanwhile, you're all going to stay here. Keep making workers. They're miners. That's E. Finally, using hotkeys here. Let's go ahead and come on down here. Repair my siege engines. That's great, mortar team. You survived the initial attack too. I'm thinking blue is going to be next. I think blue is who we want to go for next. This is one of those types of missions where as once you start down the downhill slope, it becomes so much easier because you have the extra income, you have an ally that can actually attack with you and not just defend themselves. Uh, and uh, and I, I mentioned this before, but having these scout drones has been actually really useful too because we can see the enemy before they get to us. Like this right here. We can see where blue is coming and we know they're going to be in this direction. So that means we can start moving down here. Granted, most of what we have here are siege engines. We don't want them attacking. But our hero is here, which is really important. Yes, that, wow, those scout drones have a lot of armor, too. So they can survive. You know what, let's just avatar here. Not the best use, but we did it. Okay, we took this area, too. He's avatar I don't want to waste that, so let's just use him to get back here. And as long as you have some units, it seems like their... It seems like their uh, demolishers are primarily focusing on our... On our workers and our units that are here, which is great. Bear riders, please, because they're cool. I'm very, I'm, I'm losing track of my army all the time here. Okay, you still have Avatar, but we'll run you up here to get this, these pickups. We can pick up another, or we can check on another base. We'll come on down here to destroy the rock golems with uh, Griffin riders because that'll make it fairly easy. Yes! Oh, well, this is perfect. No, don't turn around. Yes, engage the orcs. Okay, just looking around here, then we're going to send our Griffin Riders down here. Let's go ahead and send this one to the... To the, uh, the fountain. Okay, ooh, good Starfall, Solana, you're killing it. Okay, and then meanwhile, we're going we're gonna to take our siege engines and the rest of our ground units, and we're going to go and attack with her. Because fuck yeah, Solana, let's go. Okay, we got this stuff. We're gonna bring him down here so he can destroy these golems. I don't know. I mean, they probably have yeah, rock toss or something. Oh, wait, are they magic immune? Griffin Riders do magic damage. That's weird. I did not. I never realized that. What do you need? You can count on Okay, you all just go on auto repair. Griffin Riders, get on up here. Okay, here's yellow. Let's send our Griffin Riders up to support. That's fine. We've got the income that we need, like I had mentioned. You have a target? 
You guys just go, you know what I have to do is any units that I have that are idle, I need to sit by the fountain. That way I know that anytime I have an idle unit, I get distracted by the sentry drones too. I need to send to the to the fountain. That's where I can always find where my units are. So let's attack with the elves. They got a solid push going on here. My steam tank's doing good. Might want to get a, a few more or maybe mortar teams. There, we'll flesh out our composition with mortar teams. Avatar not up, unfortunately, but you know what? Our Griffin Riders are going to make short work of a lot of these incoming units. Getting rid of yellow and yellow's hero will net us another tome or maybe even an item. Then we'll go for blue. Okay, Siege Engines, I know this is what you want to do. That's a mistake. That's a, that's a silly choice. Solana is still here as well. I can always drop items on her if I so choose. I'm, you know, I'm less impressed with these bear riders. I thought that they were better than they were, but that's okay. We'll get more. We still need that initial upfront uh, attack. Okay, and we're gonna lose some siege engines. We can remake them. That's fine. So let's go ahead and get a few more. Okay, and then what's what's hanging out by our fountain? So we should just rally things to the fountain. <laughs> more riflemen. Again, we're mostly at this point working on fleshing out our compositions more than anything else. More green attacks. They've got, I think green just has air, groups of air units just around. Avatar, Avatar. Stun him. Okay, Griffin Riders, just get in here and try to snipe, try to snipe him with our, while our hero tanks. Okay. Oh, that's a heal. He must just have a self-heal. Let's just go ahead and move. Okay, this is good. Meanwhile, what's hanging out at our fountain? Rally it up. Their hero dies. Oh, and it was a Tome of Strength. That's great. I feel like because we're getting this hero so late into the campaign, this side quest is mostly about getting him kind of back up to speed. Okay, Griffin Riders are G sort of getting him up to speed and uh, and usable for the later parts of the campaign, assuming he survives. Have we outright lost any heroes yet? Have that, has anyone just outright died and become unusable because of any of our actions? Again, I haven't played for a while, so please give me a break. I, I don't I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. Uh, I do remember that there was like a new, like, void creatures or something. I think they were void creatures. They were, they're very angry with us, and they're like, oh, well, we're the true threat. So it's a, it's another one of those true threats. Uh, it's, I guess that's what's happening in World of War Warcraft these days. So Shardundred actually called it out before it even happened. Where the true threat is the void, right? Yes. Siege engines. I keep wanting to call them steam tanks. Siege engines. Siege. Siege engines, yes. <laughs> uh, doing good. Good work, Zarin. <laughs> That's right, you assholes. Our forces are under attack. I, I don't actually want them to be glitched out like this, though. I Please go and attack. Okay, no problem. There we go. And then they're going to run into a bunch of towers. Bring me Greymore's head, and I might consider sparing you. Okay, have we have we run into another hero who's who's angry with us? I can't tell. This poor guy just keeps killing himself on on spikes. All right, you guys come on down here and help clean this up. Oh, it's uh, it's this guy, Wrath Wolfscar. So the original guy that we killed, I guess, wasn't the real leader of the Darkmine. It wasn't the Darkmine clan mission three, and then the Death Breeze clan was the was the Fresh Breeze mission. So in both cases, we thought we wiped out these enemies, but they're still here. We'll do it. Okay, another green base gone. We've officially gotten rid of. No, we didn't. We have to find Sastrogarn. Probably somewhere in this yellow base. I thought we killed him. There's so many bases in these. There's there's so many bases. It's crazy. Okay. Here comes Dark Mind as well. Wow, they're smashing through us now. All right, we got to get up there. We don't have Avatar quite yet, so that's unfortunate. We, we have to attack in here. Avatar almost. Almost. Avatar. Avatar. Okay, we got Avatar up. Yikes. Okay, I want to get rid of blue next. What I'm going to do is pretty much sit by the... I'm going to do what I did in between videos. I'm not going to split the video now, though. It's too early. But I'm going to basically just hang out 
What would you ask and secure my borders. Take this base. We could afford to have even more income. What I'm happy with is that these outlying bases don't get attacked. Very pleased with that. I am not afraid. Okay, you guys come on down here and build a lumber mill. I don't think we're gonna run out of lumber, but you never know. All right, hang out by. I'm your dwarf. Yeah, hang out by right here, and then meanwhile just make more workers. Let me face the. And we're gonna make more towers. With pretty much all of our money. We're gonna make more towers. As you wish. For my people. This is just asking to get destroyed, Live but I think it's fine. I am not okay, the then you guys come on an auto repair, and we're gonna hang out down here to honor. just repair this. We're going for blue next. So there is Sasogarn, right? We're going for blue, and then Sasogarn. Where is Sasogarn? This is the main Dark Mind base. We can, or the uh, Death Breeze base. You can see it up here. I live to serve all Job done. Job done. Okay, but for now, we're just gonna hang out. This is great. I love the sound of all these towers getting made. And we can see when the Death Breeze clan is coming to attack us. So, I think we're in great shape. This might be a really good opportunity to go and get rid of those stupid golems, too. Okay, you come on in here. I live because we're gonna go and attack blue, so yeah, I think we want to go for the rock golems first. So let's move down. We're gonna intercept blue if they come towards us. We're nearly maxed out, that's good. If we're near maxed out in Warcraft 3, you want to attack, because otherwise you're just stuck in upkeep. Okay, so all of you except these three. Okay, this should be enough. And then, let's get some workers over here to repair. And just remake those. Yes, perfect. Come to us. The Griffins can't support us here, unfortunately. All right, you come on down here as well. We're, we're gonna cut off Blue in their own base. They're gonna keep Death Breeze distracted. That's, uh, Solana, that's not the best use of Starfall, unfortunately. Be cool if we could make um, if we could make necromancers this map. That would be really useful, but unfortunately, no dice. Ringer protection plus four is perfect for him. I should make an arcane vault just to see if there's anything in particular he could use. Oh no, I already have one. Stop! Stop! What does he have? Ivory towers would be nice. I could bring them with us. I'm ready and waiting. Okay, this is a large blue a, bl a large blue attack that's moving towards us. Actually, I'm thinking we're going to have to move our Griffin Riders up here to stop this, because we don't have the anti-air. Okay, Solana goes down. That's okay. We want to get rid of Wolfscar right away. Go ahead and Avatar. Take him out. He's going to get focused down. Ha! You elves and dwarves are no worthy enemies. Send for the human scum. What? Send for the human scum. Did I read that right? Send for the human. Am I? I'm, I'm, am I misunderstanding something here? Okay, we're gonna rally like crazy up here. Siege engines and mortar teams, and then lots of bear riders and riflemen. We're maxed out. All of you get on down here. Solana distracted Death Breeze long enough. I'm not sure what, what was I, was I sending these guys up here for something? Okay, and then you all be this, oh, it was to get rid of the, uh, the, the large air attack, which I think we did. I'm just sending these up here to help us get rid of the Dark Minds. I'm never gonna get it right. We're destroying Dark Mind actively right now, which is great. Uh, I'm not really able to focus them, uh, I'm not really able to, uh, destroy them as, as well as I would like. But that's okay. Again, we want the siege engines coming up. Apparently, we're near maxed out. You know what? Go for the altar. No, actually, let's get rid of their actual production. Okay, do I have any mortar teams? Where are they? Hit this. Steam tanks, move on in. Darn it, siege engines. Um... They're really good, though, at uh, at breaking buildings, and they survive so well. They have that survivability that everybody needs. 
There we go. Alter gone. Destroy. And it looks like Solana came to our rescue, which is perfect. We can get these Griffin Riders down there. And make more Bear Riders and Riflemen. They're going to keep rebuilding. That's not That's not bad. That's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I'd rather just auto attack and get rid of all the production now. I could focus down their Town Hall. See, these, these Siege Engines, they just survive. They have so much HP. They've got fortified armor. And they do 700 damage. It's very, very, very good. So there we go. Now our reinforcements are here. I have to find where that other enemy base is. What I'll do is... Oh, this mor it's a mortar team. Never mind. We don't need these guys anymore So where they are. So what we can do is move them around to see if we can find that other enemy base. This looks promising. That is not it. That's another gold mine. There's another enemy hero. Where is he? Sasrogarn. I honestly don't know. Well, that was unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll just re we'll just we'll just grab him again. He's only level six, so that's tough. The Mountain King. All right, get in there. I have five siege engines. That should be more than enough to just obliterate any base. Okay, let's check up here. We can sacrifice some of these drones. We don't need them anymore. We just want to get some good vision. Solana did a great job. I'm very proud of her. And did you notice at the in? I should have mentioned this actually when I was recording the last episode. I meant to. Is did you notice how she was taught? She was like fawning over Gardon. So I'm not sure if it's implying that she's like super into him. Ooh, blade bait armor is great. Uh, either that she's super into him. I'll take care of it. I have to remember to get this. He's dead right now. Uh, she's super into him, or town is under uh, she's mind controlled via the uh, the weird amulet. Because that's the impression that I. That's the first thing I thought, to be honest. I did restart resummoning him, right? Yes, the altar's got the little fires lit. I think that means he's being resummoned. Where the heck is this hero? that we have to kill. Where is Sasrogan? Is he back here? Okay, that's fine. That's fine that we lost that. Return of the Dark Mine, gone. I'll take care of it. Let's get Maybe he's in the dark we'll green base. Okay, get on down here and pick up this blade bait armor before I forget. Where is it? There it is. All right, I've right clicked it. He'll pick it up unless I move him. Where do you want us? Let's clean up this area, and then we'll back up, we'll heal, we'll repair our, our siege engines, and then we'll be ready to go. Again, a downward spiral from where we finished pretty much the first mission, but where the heck is this enemy hero? I will grab my... I, I will make more griffins and go and take out that green base so that the wyverns just finally leave us alone. Toot toot. Okay, that's gone. Hello! We'll do it in a jeppy. Okay. So when you pick that up, we're going to shift click you to come and pick up this, even though we don't need it. Everybody move back here. Make me a. I don't need any workers. We have three to repair our siege engines, steam tanks, whatever the heck they are. I'll do what it takes. Where the heck is this extra hero? Did I destroy three bases? I destroyed yellow. Wasn't there an enemy hero in there that we killed? I remember p I've picked up three tomes. And we've killed three heroes. Okay, so where is Sasragarn? He must be in the Dark Mind base. Or the, ah, the Death Breeze base. Dark Mind is gone. They're not going to cause us any problems. Okay, good work. We haven't depleted any of our gold mines, which is incredible. I don't know how that has happened. Why not come down here and take this one too? It's a good question. That's why I'm going to go and take it. Whoa! There we go. Oh, man, she's doing it. Is that Sasragarn? No, that's Rakatos. Um, I could go and help them, but it's not super necessary right now. Let's just wait. We're going to take these Griffin Riders, and we are going to go and attack Green so that they stop sending those jerks at us. I could also wait until the Elves are ready to attack again, too, and go with them. I mean, the world is my oyster at this part. At this point, I'm gonna be fine no matter what I choose to do. I think. Hello. Got mortar teams. We got siege engines. I think we just need more meat to this army, so we're gonna flesh it out with two bear riders. That's gonna put us at 100. 100. Yeah, I, I do have a couple bear riders in here already, which is great. And by a, a few, I mean one. Okay, we're gonna go for the rest of light green first because I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. 
Okay, we got a lot of these fellas down here. Let's let's just have these all go. Okay, and again, we're maxed out, so we're just gonna wait. Maybe wait for the elves? I'm not sure. Either way is fine. I could attack from the side with my griffin riders, but I'd rather just bomb in there. We can avatar, and then we can finish them up. So let's attack this, and then attack this. My bear riders, I mean, the my bear riders and my, um, my typical... I haven't made any normal warriors, just because they get torn up by something as simple as spike barricades. And they're gonna get melted by most of the stuff that the enemy has anyway, so this is fine. Yes! Yes, finally getting rid of this junk. Griffin Rider's pretty you good. I don't, I don't think anyone would really argue against that. Were there any upgrades that I didn't get? Get out of here. Whoa! <laughs> the Skullblade Clan. Also known as cowards that sit behind their allies and just make air units. Okay. Um... Do I have another drone just sitting around? Let's make a couple, just because uh, that way I can fly them around and just see if I've missed anything. Where do you want us? All right, Dark Mind. Job's done. Death Breeze. <laughs> We're coming for you. Let's get moving. We have the technology. Get it we don't really have the I AOE that I would like, but that's fine. Ah, count me in. But what I want to do is, like, AOE the crap out of them here. I don't think we have anything that does AOE besides mortar teams. We can make a few of them, but we're maxed out. We have to find the remaining enemy hero, who could be anywhere. Okay. You just scout this area. You scout this area. Let's keep an eye out if we see creeps on the minimap. Meanwhile... Oh, it looks like we can actually just move up this ramp because what's her name cleared it out. Yes, Solana. She's got to be getting ready to attack here soon. The best is when you commit to an attack and then your ally, your allies trigger the timing of their attacking triggers at just the right time, and it's perfect. That's what I. That's what I'm looking forward to. What's happening? Okay. Ready and waiting. Draw them out. Okay, mortar team, fire the first blow. Get him. You made the right We've done it. Let's get, Let's get our hero right in the front. Oh, okay. They're not they're not biting. Where is Sassogar? Hmm? Is he is he in this base? Brilliant. I don't want to destroy this base until I find him. It's a lot of stuff here. There he is, there he is, there he is. Avatar. Oh, he's silenced. What silenced him? There we go. Can we stun him out of that? No, he's immune to magic. Just focus him. And then we're gonna just rally like crazy. Oh, perfect! Yes! It worked! <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Where's Sassogarn? Is he in here? That was a perfect starfall. I'm so proud of her. Okay, let's back you up, because I don't want you to die, buddy. Do you have any? Do we have any priests here that can help us out, Solana? We're already in low upkeep. That's bad. Well, if Sassagarn is here, we'll find him. I, I mean, I know he's here. We just have to get him to show his stupid fucking face. Mortar teams. Mm, I have enough riflemen. More, more bear riders is fine. We saw him up there. There he is. Hit him with a hit him with a hammer. Grab the tome and run away. Okay, good work. Zarin is Zarin's got some good stats. We just need to get him better, more leveled up in the future. We've done everything on this map. Again, it might be something as simple as like destroying the Dark Mind Clan makes it so that because uh, some people in the comments had mentioned that based on some of your decisions, it did, it 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 bases it, it it basically is deciding what heroes you get to use in the last mission. So what I suspect maybe on this one, for example, is if you don't destroy the Dark Mind clan or the enemy heroes, then Zarin gets distracted and can't come join you, or he gets killed. Or and maybe in the la the Fresh Breeze mission, if you don't destroy the uh, the orcs that come to your side of the map, then I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe what happens is they um then he same thing with him like he gets distracted or something and or gets killed and he can't you don't get merlin in the last mission i don't know i'm making this up but that's just kind of the that's kind of what i'm assuming 
And then there's a, f I mean, there's a few other things people have, have outright told me, like, oh, you won't get this hero in the last mission because you did a certain thing. Yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna play how I wanna play, and whatever heroes I end up getting in the last mission, I'm comfortable with. This poor guy in the spike barricade. Solana, you gotta bring some priests, or maybe she did and they got killed really quickly. We got a lot of mortar teams. We have definitely won. This map went fine. It was hard at the beginning, but I think... I think I would have rather gone for purple first. Or... Well, no, actually getting rid of one of these bases down here was useful, because you get a, an expansion that is completely defended. And it takes the pressure off your allies so that they only have to focus on one enemy. Um, yellow really wasn't a problem. Maybe getting rid of Dark Mind early would be better. But they're hard to get rid of. They have a strong hero. If he respawns quickly. But overall, yeah, this went, this went really, really well. Um... Haven't really done that much focus firing when we attacked. In the early bases, we had to. We had to focus fire a little bit, because it was easy to uh, allow the enemy to rebuild. Like, purple? Because we didn't really focus fire in that initial attack, and I wanted to just focus on macroing during at that time, uh, we were unable to actually finish them off, and then we had to come back a second time. Okay, looks like we've done everything there is to do on this map. Destroy the final thing. Actually, you know what? I never read the flavor text. Just, just to, I mean, I've already, I've already done this, but just in case... The Dark Mind Clan, which had been defeated by General Blend Greymar, seems to have survived the so-called annihilation of their clan and returned to avenge their fallen brothers. They must be thrown back. See, that's the thing. It's weird that it's 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 specifically said that they were supposedly annihilated. Hint, hint. Like, did something happen such that they weren't? I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like the orcs are just again they're sort of thrown in as like a here fight these guys, but I'm not sure what what impact they're going to have in the war against the demons from the human perspective. The leaders in the orcs in the air coordinate the attacks of their brethren. While their deaths won't stop the attacks, it would cripple the clan structure. According to the drones, they possess powerful tomes. Okay, perfect. So this, yeah, this is, you know, just do it. This, it's just suspicious here where it's saying the supposed annihilation. Again, I might be reading more into this, but I have fun sort of thinking about it that way. The Imperial Fortress has been completely demolished by the orcs of the Death Breeze clan. This orc clan has killed Zaren's brother more than some years ago. Despite being outnumbered, Zaren wishes to avenge his brother by defeating their Death Breeze clan at every opportunity. Well, we've done that. Your brother has been avenged, Zaren. We'll get you some more levels next time so you have a little more survivability. But we got you the Blade Bane, Blade Bane armor. We got you the Ring of Protection. You're looking pretty good. The rest of their army is on the run, as well as their leaders. We won't be able to catch them. Damn it. I wish we could have captured or killed them. We would have been more would have been more satisfying. Zaren, we managed to survive against six orc clans at the same time in one. And that's something to be proud of. The Imperial the Imperials will be thankful for what we did today. Guess you're right. And we killed quite a lot of those Death Breeze bastards. However, that green fellow wasn't their chieftain. My revenge isn't done until I have the head of this Rangul bastard. You'll get your revenge one day, Zaren, but you'll have to be patient. If we follow them now, you'll only join your brother, not avenge his death. You can hate the orcs and fight them if you want, but don't let your hatred cloud your judgment. We lost many good friends this day. It's enough. Sir, I bring bad news. The Imperials have gone insane. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I heard that Lord Genethysus and Lord Bloodclaw prepare their forces to fight against each other. One of them must be a traitor. Gardon can't be a traitor. It must be that Genethys. Damn these Imperials and their struggles against each other. All forces back. Bring me to him, soldier. Okay, well, let's look for that interlude and see... Maybe we'll have another choice where the Dwarves and Elves have to pick a side, though I think we know which side Solana is going to be on. Nope, okay, we're going to head into Ancient Secrets next time. Again, Solana's attitude, I think she's, I can't tell if she's just smitten by Gardon. She really likes him because he came and helped her. She offered to help him, she, he gave her the amulet. But the fact that he imbued, well, no, he, she didn't do it with more power. The same thing with the flavor text on Merlons, though. It's, it's, there's something shady going on with the amulets that he gives to people. So that's a little suspect, and I, again, I do hope I, I chose the right side with going with Gardon. He seemed to have the right idea, though, by taking us to those woods. So, I'm not sure. Alright, this has been Jay Barino. Thank you for watching. When we come back, we'll play Ancient Secrets. See you then. Bye now.